on guys and welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. Today we're going to be working on installing a bed liner kit for this 1997 F350 power stroke. So if you saw the previous video, you know that we got new paint on the truck, so the truck looks freaking cherry. It was already rust free as it was, other than a little bit of surface rust on like the uh, upper portion, I guess you could say, the rocker. There was like some surface rust starting. One of those things where you kind of like slide the paint off over time, you know, wearing it down, getting in and out, sliding your boots across the rocker. It was just kind of wore out and starting to get some surface rust. So we had that sanded and repainted. But other than that, there was no rust really to speak of anywhere. But this bed currently has no bed liner in it. It's just the raw finish. There is a big rubber mat thrown in the bed here. Hopefully it's been in there a long time, so there's not really a bunch of wear on the bed itself. But regardless, we're going to take the wheels and tires out of here, take this stuff out of the bed, get this pressure washed out, and then we're gonna work on working the bed and getting it prepped for the new bed liner. So we got the bed prepped. I basically took a sanding block and just worked the bed. Mostly worked the whole part of the bed here that you're gonna be really working the most. You know, just this whole main flat bed part. The sides, of course, need sanded too, but just really focusing on getting all the debris and dirt and grime and oil and grease. All that crap just off of the main bed surface where you need the most strength and contact. Okay, so here's the bed liner kit that we went with this time. This one's going to be different, totally different application. This is going to be if you have access to air gun, um, well air compressor I'm saying, and you can buy this tool. And this is going to be more of a spray on, not a roll on. So hopefully it saves us, I don't know, like two hours of time. So this is a Raptor liner kit and it's very different. You can either spray it on or roll it on. Of course, I bought the $30 spraying tool and essentially what you have to do is work the bed as I just explained mask it all off and then they have other requirements if your bed is in certain condition and so on and so forth mine's actually in really good condition other than a couple little tiny spots where you can see it was like the paint was chipped and there's a little bit of surface rust but nothing like deeply corroded or any holes or anything like that for the most part you can see my main bed part it's hardly even got any real scratches or anything because they had that bed mat on it for so long. So essentially what you do is you take the measuring cup that they provide, this comes in the kit, or if you don't want to buy this gun, you can use that, which is just the rollers that comes with the kit. So what I'm going to do is dump eight ounces of this in this cup that they provide, and then you're supposed to just dump it into one of these bottles, shake it, and basically take the cap off, put the bottle up to this spray tool, and just thread it on and just spray it on the bed. I mean, it's supposed to be that easy. So we will see. You should be able to use two bottles to do an eight foot bed and then come back and then use another two bottles to do your second coat. And then that's pretty much it. So we're gonna get to mix it right now and we're gonna get to masking it off and getting this on camera as long as the battery lasts. liner looks really good so far. It looks more like a factory, it looks a little bit closer in terms of the texture, like a factory bed liner versus um, an aftermarket, even though either way it's an aftermarket bed liner. But we're gonna start to take all the tape off, we're gonna let it dry tonight, and then we'll come out here tomorrow morning and we'll do the second coat. See how this bed liner turned out. 
not quite as crisp and clean as my last one. <laughs> um, but it looks pretty good. I mean, it does look good. It's different than the other one, you know. You can see where the tape kind of got blown down in. So this was actually, this kind of sucks. So I was actually blowing the bed liner on. I had a nice straight line, everything else. I was blowing it on, blowing it on because the air gun has a lot of pressure coming out of it. And it just blew the tape right down into this crack right here. And I think when you close the tailgate, you can't see it. That's kind of a bummer. But other than that, I mean, the, the finish is nice. It's really nice. It's almost got like a grittiness to it, but it also has a little bit of a slick edge to it at the same time. It, it kind of sounds weird when you say it like that, but it, I mean, it looks really, really good. I got a little bit of overspray up on the top of the back bed rail, so I might actually just end up just taking a roller and rolling it right across the top of the whole back, just because if it's got a little bit of overspray, I'd rather just look like it was intentional and just bedline the back portion here. We're gonna do a second coat real quick. And it'll be done. Bed liner kit is officially 100% installed. I got the second coat on and it looks so much better with the second coat. I really don't know what to do about this. I could probably take a razor to it and straighten that edge out. Um, it really sucks that the runoff went through that tape. But anyways, other than that, the bed liner looks really good. If you guys see up here, what I ended up doing was taking the bed liner and doing one roll across the top there just so that it looks like it was intentional because there's a little bit of overspray got under the tape up there as well and it kind of made it look like a little bit just rough around the edges and nasty. So I ended up just doing that. Make it look like it was intentional and complete and now it does look so much better. It looks really, really good. This kit was more and I'm gonna try to leave a link in the description below for this kit on Amazon if you wanna pick it up. It's called the Raptor Liner Bed Kit, the Tough Protective Coating. It was really, really easy to install. This one was more expensive though to do it the way I did it. The kit itself was $130 plus the air gun, which was $30. It does come with rollers if you wanna roll it on, but this kit, I used the roller just to do that one little portion on the back top there, you know, by the back glass that I just told you I rolled. Even just that one little spot that I did, the rolling sucked, it was not good. This thing has to be sprayed on for best results, but that's gonna make the kit almost $200 after you include tax into that. And if you have a six foot bed, this is actually probably realistically best for that because it took me three of those cans to do the entire first coat on this eight foot bed and it's what it's rated for is an eight foot bed, but it took three full cans just to do the first coat and I didn't even have it on thick. You can still see little bits of white throughout it. And so then today I took one last can and I basically just selectively went through and every area you could kind of see white coming through, I just coated that up to where it was completely connected in one piece all the way across the bed liner so there was no little bits of white shining through. You can see the sunlight shining on it right now. So that's the way I had to do it and it turned out really good still. It's still perfectly fine, perfectly coated. And this stuff hardens up like concrete. Like it's, it's awesome. It's a really, really good finish once it dries up. The other one that I did on the Resto Gen was good as well, but I would probably recommend this one just by the feel. It feels like it's gonna be able to take a lot more abuse than the other kit did. But if you're going to roll it on, and let's say you don't have an air compressor and you don't wanna buy the tool and you don't wanna spend almost $200 and rather you'd spend under 150 to do it the way I did the other one, the other one is way better to just roll on. And we have some unfortunate news for this truck. So for everybody tuning in a little bit more recently, the back rear parking brake assembly, whatever you wanna call this, I think that's what it's technically called, broke because top bolt fell out over time bottom bolt was taking all the pressure eventually it was just straining it too much it snapped that bottom bracket off so we got it all disassembled we got it all ready for the new one to go on however the part is no longer available so i was actually looking through my emails yesterday because i'm like this part should have been here today it says it was going to be here by monday it's monday it's 5 p.m you know like by now we should have it looking through my emails and it says, your order was refunded because we can no longer get you that part. You've gotta be joking, it wasn't even for, technically it wasn't even for the 03 to 06 or 07 trucks, it was actually for a 2010 and apparently the rear axles were the same, so I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna order the part, get it in so I at least know if that does or does not work. It may have worked, I don't know, but they said parts out of stock, can't get it anymore, can't even get it on back order, so we're just gonna have to refund the order. You'll see the money back in your account in like five to 10 days. I'm like, you gotta be joking. So we're back to square one looking for the part. I did have two different guys messaging me on Instagram saying that they could get me the part because they part out trucks and they've got them sitting all over the place. They're like, well, we'd rather not part out just the one piece because 
the entire rear axle is just fine. Hopefully somebody will be able to get me the part so I can buy it off them and actually get the part, get it in and get this thing back on the road because I want to make videos with this truck. It's kind of hard to make videos with the truck when you can't really drive it. So we're going to get the part in. Hopefully soon one of those guys will sell it to me so I can get it on the truck and then we will hopefully be able to proceed with that truck and get back to making videos with it like we were originally planning to. I will leave a link to the Bedlander kit and the spray gun in the description below. I'll leave links to those. But also do not forget that if you want to enter to win this truck, it is your last week to enter to win and then this giveaway will be gone. One of the cleanest OBS trucks I've ever seen in person, especially now that all the paint chips are fixed, it's officially just right. It comes on either these wheels and tires or some 24 inch American Force rims with 35s on those if you want those instead. The truck also comes with $5,000 cash, but you guys are running out of time. Thank you guys so much. Links in the description below. Just place an order on the site. You're automatically entered to win. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.